Hello folks, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we're going to be talking about Fairy Magic Dust Tutorial and this is what we're going to be making. Right there, a little cute fairy with all the glitters and all the magic sparkles right there. Alright, so I'm going to show you the breakdown as usual and a little, a little step by step and you know I could share a few informations here and there but I already have the setup here as you see in my nuke script so let's begin first I uh, let's jump to let's jump straight to the magic sparkles first what I did was I made a roto right there and I always put the output to RGBA and then I think I animated this one. Yes, I did. And I animated the roto right there. And then I put a time echo in it. The settings is um, time echo method max. Frames to look at is 20. Frames to fade out is 20. Be careful of using time echo though because it's a little heavy if you don't if you have a slow computer. Mine is not that fast either, so it'll uh, it'll lag once in a while. But uh, this is how it looks like with the time echo right there. And then I gave it a little blur of 38.5. You could choose whatever blur values you want. And we'll jump over here on the right side, which is the noise. Same thing, RGBA. And I just and I just animated the Z value from zero to frame and frame one hundred is five. And it looks like this. Like a starry starry night. It's pretty cool. And from there, I grab a grade, <coughs> switch the channels to RGBA, and adjust the black point, 0 0.026, white point, 0 0.16, and make sure you click white clamp, so the values don't go all the way above 1 and below 0. And from there, I put a uh, glint, Makes it really nice and pretty. I set the number of rays to 4, length to 50, and I animated the rotation. So if you go to frame 0, uh, rotation is 28, and frame 100 is 71. So if you play it, it kind of looks like this. Really cool. And then I added a color correct. Uh, click the color wheel on the gain, and then it gives you this one. I just I I kind of like the the golden yellow. <clears throat> Looks really nice. And I use the I use the time echo with the roto as my alpha, and mask it to the noise with the glint. So that's how it looks like. So from here. And my alpha mask it you have this pretty little thing and I added a glow set up the values to brightness to 10.36 and size to 20 and I added a multiply of value 3 it may look a little bright here but once you merge it to a background it actually dims off so uh, let me uh, stream it a little bit. So this is how it looks like by itself. Looks pretty cool. So, and then I added a little bit of a, like a core at the front, just for it to have like a like a solid head or whatever. That's the roto. I, I feather it. And I gave it a blur, a 10, and I use a constant. 
and I copy pre-molded and I gave it a glow from 2.76 size 20 and then the this guy right here the magic light is gonna be A and sparkles is gonna be B right there so now we, now we have something going on and I have this setup. I always I call this one the blur plus. Well, it's because it's the blur, and you're plusing it with different values in it. <laughs> the first blur is 63.5. Merge plus of it is 0.285. You could choose whatever value you want. So this is how it looks like if you merge plus it right there. It gives it like a softer glow on the on the perimeter. And another one just a little bit more glow and then I added a optical flare now this node right here this guy right here is a custom-made gizmo that I did uh, a year ago so if you want to know how I did it I could make another tutorial so please feel free to comment below and uh, ask if you wanted to uh, to know how to make this gizmo so I could call in optical flare where's that thing it's gone well I'm just gonna save it anyways surprisingly it's gone in my tool set I'm just gonna call it Owens optical flare and voila so what it does is just to give you a brief uh, a fast run through on my optical flare you could switch it like from none you could switch it to cool blue simple holy moly flare I named all of this because uh, I was so bored fun under the sun you know so you have all the little fancy little things and the best thing about this is you could even add your own optical flare so it's pretty cool all right so let's get back to it uh, so I have the magic light and the sparkles and I plus the optical flare so it looks like this and I added a crop just for cleaning it up on the edges right there sometimes the image goes way over here so I just wanted to stay in the stage and then I merge it over on a background the background is some it's just an image that I downloaded in Google and uh, I added a color correct gain it down defocus it and I did a crop and basically that's it and then I downloaded a fairy, a little cute fairy right there. And I animated the fairy using a transform node right there. Very basic stuff. Right there. If you want more detail, you could even animate the wings, but you have to separate it. You need to separate it from the body, so it takes a little while. So now we have the background with the magic sparkles, then we merge the fairy on top. And then I use a light wrap to integrate the fairy to the background to the magic sparkles. So you grab a light wrap and you check all of these. Generate wrap only, disable luminance and enable glow. And then intensity intensity to 5, diffuse to 15. And that's it. It looks like this right there. And then you merge plus it and that's how it looks like and then I added ramp uh, ramp nodes right here this ramp node is used for uh, brightness on the screen right upper screen right and if you double click it you see the value right there that's the ramp node and I give it a color correct <laughs> gain of the uh, of this color like warm color 
And then this guy, the second ramp, is at the bottom, screen left. And I, and I gave it a color correct of darker shade of yellow. So if you A, B it, see right there? You could see the little subtle difference. And after that, I merge plus the footage by itself with a blur amount of 96. So if you look at this one right here and you blur it, that's how it looks like. And if you plus it by its own self, like this one, you plus it to this one. So it looks like this. It gives you that soft look, like heavenly look. Which, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So just to be careful of using this one. You might want to dial down the Merge Plus value in it. And then I added a vignette. Right there. And then I inverted it, blur it. And I used the color correct. Gain down 0 0.3. We're almost done. And then I uh, give it a little bit of sharpen. Sharpen the image a little bit. Because when you somehow when you export it and you upload it in YouTube, the, it compresses the video. So it loses its quality a little bit. So sharpen gives you a little bit of edge, like a nice edge on, on the characters. And give, give a little bit of crop. And uh, yep, and that's it. Right there, little cute fairy. But don't go yet, there's more. <laughs> I always wanted to say that. It's like you're selling something. I'm gonna show you a thumbnail that I did. So uh, yeah, this is an, uh, a good uh, additional topic right here. So let's jump into our last frame. That's a really nice uh, frame right there. And what I did was I added this one for my thumbnail. Fairy Ma Magic Dust Tutorial. So I use a text, type it in. I use the font Cassandra Personal Use. That's what it's, the name is. And then I copy Premult, use the text as an alpha to the constant. And then I copy this setup and just change the constant to darker orange and then I merge them together. If you take out the glow right there and I added a glow, 30.5 size and if you merge it right here, fairy dust plus, plus the blur plus right there. It will sharpen and crop and render it and voila you have a nice thumbnail with your fairy magic dust tutorial hope you guys like it and thank you very much for watching my video don't forget to subscribe like and hopefully share if you guys like it and rewatch it if you want thank you again and see you soon bye bye